Good morning. Hi. Are you just waking up? Yeah. Do you have a good night? Do you have a good night? Mm. Hey, my little girl. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Yeah. She's been lying here grumbling for a little bit, going basically saying I'm starting to wake up. She has um she has got a bit of a glurgy tummy again today, which is you know standard for Ellen. So I need to get her up and I need to get her little tummy vented. Yes I do, yes I do, yes I do. Yes I do, yes I do, yes I do. I need to get you dressed. I need to brush whatever is going on here. What is going on here? Yeah. Huh? Oh. Okay. Shall we see what we can do? No. Okay. What do we need? Do we need a clean pad? Yes. Do we need clean clothes? All ready to go? You're going to the zoo today? Yeah, with your play scheme. Do we need to clean your face? I think we need to clean your face, don't you? Move you up a little bit. Skrubba lilla brummelmann med tål och borste i en spann. Nalle ska bli fin och ren, han ska bli så mjuk och len. Mor vill skrubba om hon får på bruna ben och svarta tår. Nej, be vars vad du är grå om dina tassar små. Titta hitåt så får jag torka nosen din ett slag. Men på huvudet får jag se lilla örat med. Skrubba lilla brummelman med tål och borstet i en spann. Ingen björn i detta land ska bli så ren som han. Och vi tar av en tubipad. So take that tubipad off. And oh, don't need to open this. You notice how I just completely switched language there because <laughs> I sang in Swedish and now I keep talking in Swedish. There we are. Nice clean stoma. Oh, can you hear her grind her teeth? Oh my god! I'm a girl! Look at you! All dressed! Yeah? So, I need to put Muviel into her back in order to change her and to change her pads because she's 10 years old. We no longer say nappies because uh, she's on, you know, she's outgrown baby nap size nappies a long time ago. So, I need to have her on her back for that, but because she's so refluxy, it's not safe to leave her on her back. So, if she gets reflux coming into her mouth then I have to roll her over to make sure that it comes out of her mouth rather than that she accidentally breathes it in because aspiration is really dangerous <clears throat> and when I change her pad I'm obviously not going to show that on video ever because we just don't but um, I can't lift her legs up the way I would do with a baby with a baby I would grab the ankles and then lift the whole bum up but again, with all the reflux, all I'm doing is kind of pushing things up. And it's not very comfortable because she's very big now. So instead, I roll her. So I roll her to the side. I position the pad behind her back. Move it, push it down underneath her hip and around. And then move her back onto her back. And then wriggle it until I have it in the right position. And then I can close it. Oh. And there comes another piece of reflux. She's like, why are you doing this, mommy? Why do you keep moving me? 
And now, clearly what I need to do is get her sitting upright in her chair and start venting her little tummy so we can get some of this glurg out. Glurg is what I call it, all the foam and phlegm and yucky stuff she has in her tummy like this. Ooh, getting stuck on chairs. Okay, come forward so we can pull the jumper down, or t-shirt, so it's a bit more comfortable. And then, ooh, sit you properly. Let's strap you in. Strappy, 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 strappies. Oh, and then let's cover you in towels. Cover me in towels. Yeah, because I don't want to change you again. You look beautiful. This is a very heavy full packed wheelchair. Oh, let me get a little pillow for your feet. It's here. Hey, how is that? How is that? What are we gonna do about this? We're gonna brush it all out and sort it out, but let's deal with our tummy first. Okay. So, ear and stoma, I open it, I put in the extension tube, and then I gently, gently pull back to see what we can get out. Okay, I'm just gonna move the clamp and make sure the tube is completely open because where the clamp goes, it, it sort of sticks together a little bit. Oh, I can already see a lot of foam coming. We do this gently and carefully, don't we? Mm. Hi. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm super hungry and I need my breakfast, so I've got breakfast here. And also, we don't have all the time in the world this morning because Eileen is going to her play scheme. She's going to Whipsnade Zoo today. So Woburn Safari Park a few days ago, Whipsnade Zoo today, lucky girl. I'm jealous, I wanna go to Whipsnade again. Uh, we actually took Eileen to Whipsnade, Eileen's dad and I, um, for Eileen's sixth birthday, birthday, so that's four years ago, and we did vlog it, so I'm going to link to that vlog here, and you can go back and see it, and you got a little two-year-old Alice toddling along <laughs> in that one, she's super cute, Eileen's super cute as well, yeah, and we had a really fantastic day out, but I haven't been since, Eileen has, uh, she goes every summer with the BDCPS play scheme now, so last year she went... Uh, and last year they actually went, uh, she went twice because they went with a family day to Whipsnade Zoo as well that Alice came along to. So she loves it. But yeah, the reason the wheelchair is so heavy is because when Eileen's carer, Caitlin, was here last night, she organised and prepared everything for me. So I don't have to do, apart from putting ice blocks and food in, there is nothing else for me to do to get Eileen prepared to leave today, which is amazing. Right. I feel like I've just rambled on a lot. Lots of air I'm getting as well. Oh, so much for me, Lynn. Oh, what a gluggy tummy. Oh, what a gluggy tummy. Yuck. I just realized how spectacular Lynn's hair is at the moment. Yucky, 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 yuckies. You've got so many yuckies in your tummy. Poor girl. Okay, I'm gonna deal with her hair and with my breakfast. I'm gonna put some music on for her as well, so I'll come back to you in a moment, all right?
sorry, was that a bit too sudden? My apologies, girl. Okay, I can't get any more out here. Now, usually I don't show you this, but actually I am gonna show it today, but if you really don't wanna see what's in the syringe, then skip a minute ahead, but I can promise you it does not look like vomit. It isn't vomit. It is foam and phlegm and air and gastric juices today. Today what I got out was 40 milliliters of air, five milliliters of foam, and then about five, seven milliliters, it looks like, of gastric juices. So there was a lot of air in her tummy. Uh, there is more foam in the tube, but I can't get it. So what I'm gonna do with this now is, I'm gonna pour everything out apart from the gastric juices and then I'm gonna put back in, because they're needed. Those gastric juices will help her digest her breakfast. So that's why I'm putting them back in. Even if it's only five milliliters, it will help. And then a bit of water. Flushy, 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 flush. Flushy, flush, flushy, flush. Hi. And then I'm gonna start giving her breakfast and medicines. cat in the world. I love her so much. But you need to eat your breakfast. <laughs> because it's nearly time to go to play ski. Do you want crunchy nut cornflakes? Do you want with your good wit strawberry or lemon? I will get you a strawberry whipped yogurt. Lucas. Strawberry jam. Well, I'll call it strawberry jam to gummies because it tastes like that and it looks like that. Gummy. Oh, do we need a good stretch, Ellen? Just fell onto you. 
Bowl. Bowl. Looks like multi-complex. Looks like sick. It does not look like sick. Don't be disgusting. Eat your breakfast. I know that it's... it's I know it's not sick. It's just strawberry stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's yummy, 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 I am now back to doing everything at once, as uh, we know I like to do. <sighs> what is wrong with me? So, I am currently uploading a video to YouTube, obviously. Uh, Eileen is having her medicines, Alice has finally woken up and is now having breakfast. The only problem is that in 20 minutes, Alice's dad arrives to take Eileen to her play scheme and I need to take Alice to her play scheme. And then I need to go to work, so we started to run out of time, but I really want to publish this vlog first. This is my third day starting new, uh, the new dawn to dusk. Yep, indeed. And we need to get you dressed and we need to do your hair, because for all that you're super cute in wonky space buns, we should probably brush it. Um, if you come here, you can do the other side. Uh, Eileen's dad has just been to pick Eileen up. He's taking her to play scheme this morning and I'm taking Alice because this morning they are starting play scheme at the same time. And Alice and I really ought to be in the car. Oh, and we're not yet. We haven't even brushed our teeth yet. Yes. But we're going to. Yeah. Um, the only thing I had left to pack for Eileen was her food. So I've done that. And yeah, she's gone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> And that really is Eileen's morning routine, is getting her up, getting her changed, getting her dressed. Oh, today you've been in morning routine. Eileen's morning routine is what I've done, yeah. And then vent her little tummy, and then breakfast, and medicines, and everything was made so much easier by the fact that Caitlin had fully prepared everything she needed for today, last night. So I didn't have to. And, um, Mummy, can we um, do our morning routine one day and do that vlog? Yeah, absolutely. So one thing I didn't get a chance to film this morning, which was so beautiful, was that, um, uh, what's her name? Luca. Our cat's name is Luca. Uh, Luca finally decided to grant Alice a cuddle by lying on her lap. Well, putting her... Um, paws on my lap. Yeah. I I actually felt her claws on my legs, but I was perfectly fine. I was just moving my top leg like a little bit. Yeah. So Luca's never been particularly cuddly with Alice, and Alice really wants her to be. So today was big. But today yeah. was about Eileen's morning routine, and now you need to brush your teeth, and we need to drive you off to play game. And also, can you do that? Yes, I can. Too tricky for me. Yeah, it, it gets stuck, doesn't it? There you are. Thank okay, you. cool. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye. Mwah.